Hello, this is Bern. And if you've ever felt emotionally attached to a guy who consistently disappoints you and falls short of your expectations, but even though you intellectually and intuitively know he doesn't value you the way you need, you can't seem to distance yourself from him. In today's video, I'm gonna share how you can reclaim your power with class, dignity, and worth, and finally move on. Hello, this is Bern. Welcome to another edition of BernMendez.com. If this is your first time here and you want to learn how you can attract your ideal life partner without the need for gimmicks, manipulation, or silly techniques, make sure to hit the subscribe button right now so you can be notified of new episodes as they come out. First things first, if you're going through the situation right now, if your heart is breaking daily, if your light is dimming as a result of connecting with someone who doesn't value you the way you expect him to value you, who treats you as an option when you're really putting him on a pedestal, who doesn't pursue you with a level of hunger that is healthy to grow a relationship. When you're telling yourself perhaps that your choices are either connecting with this man where you feel intensely alive when you connect with him and you feel he has an edge and he's so smart and witty and funny and sexy or connecting with boring guys who are good and maybe have the right things on paper but don't show up that way and you don't feel the butterflies in your stomach that you feel with him. I understand how from your perspective in this dilemma you continue choosing this man who's not the right fit for you. You might be erroneously telling yourself that you have two false alternatives and I'm here to share with you that that's not the case. There's a third choice. There's a guy who's out there for you. If you're willing to let go of this clown <laughs> that can step up in a much stronger way and connect with your heart and see you and value you and cherish you. So don't feel alone. Don't feel crazy. There's nothing wrong with you. I'm sharing this powerfully as a result of having helped so many women throughout my life to connect to amazing men that they step into powerful relationships that are mutually fulfilling, that this doesn't have to be the case. So one of the first things you need to understand is that no man will love you more than you love yourself. That's a principle that I'd love for you to write down right now. No man can love you more than you love yourself. The second principle is the way you love yourself is shown through your actions more than your thoughts. So let's just take two principles and join them together. If no man will love you more than you love yourself, and you're loving yourself very little by connecting with someone who's constantly rejecting you and treating you as a far option, then I'm imploring right now to you that if you want this thing to change, you have to love yourself more in actions. You have to love yourself more in the way you train men how to treat you. You have to love yourself more by creating more options. You have to love yourself more through not limiting yourself and thinking that the experiences of the past or lack of experiences that are powerful in the past will continue showing up for you. But it starts with a decision. One decision can change your entire life experience and that decision can happen today. Now, before I go into my specific practices to stop this insanity from ruining your love life, I'd like to invite you to take the next step, which is if you wanna take the concept of this video further than I can share in this short time span, and you want to deepen your insight into how you can emotionally make changes, when you intellectually know what to do but you're not doing it, then if you hit on the first link on the description of this video, you'll be able to access my free masterclass where I'll guide you through this process. All you have to do is click on that link, you'll see a page that looks like this, enter your name and email, and you can start watching that free training right away. There's a poem by Rumi that goes something like this. 1,000 half-loves must be forsaken to take one whole heart home. Think about it. 1,000 half-loves must be forsaken to take one whole heart home. So what does that mean to you? That means that if you're connecting with someone who fills your cup in some intense ways, but if you think about the kind of relationship you want, the kind of family you want, the kind of pursuit you want, the kind of respect you want, he falls short, then this qualifies as a half-love that you must be willing to let go of in order to get what you want. Now, you won't be able to let go of him if you start thinking that he's your only possibility. So I'm going to invite you right now as a first step to know how to differentiate between the two types of lack. So listen, I'm not crazy. I've been doing this for a long time. So I know the truth of what's out there and I understand that you are experiencing true lack but not of just one kind of two kinds. The first kind is obvious, which means the majority of men out there will not be a fit for you. 
the majority of men will not be complementary to what you have to offer, will not want the same depth of relationship you're seeking, will not be compatible. So for that, there, there's a type of lack out there that's logistical in nature, which means most men out there aren't a fit for you. Now, the second type of lack, which completes this, is there's things you're doing right now that if your chances are reduced by not every man being your option, that can further reduce that and make you feel like there's no possibilities for you. So one of the things that I want to, you to understand is that a one degree shift in your awareness or in your actions can create a significant life experience for you, a change in your life experience. What does that mean? Well, if you're already experiencing lack and not, not every guy wants a deep relationship, some guys only want sex, some guys are not smart enough or don't make enough money or are not the right fit for you for so many different levels or reasons, but you're not qualifying them properly, then you're closing your doors. Or maybe you're not asking the right questions. Or maybe you're having sex too early. Or maybe you are closing off to meeting more men and making them de facto boyfriends, even though they're not your boyfriend yet. Or maybe you are projecting things that are not really present because you want to make sure that this guy is your guy. So you are filling in the blanks with imagination and hope and projections and excuses then a change in any of those things can open the doorway for out of three and a half billion men, let's say just a small minority is a fit for you, for the right guy to enter your life. So understand that if there's a natural lack in the world and you change something in the way you're doing, you can make that lack create options for you, even though many of the women will not be able to get what you want because they're not doing the things that I'm sharing with you right now. One of the things that I want to invite you to as you connect with this man that really can start shifting things for you is to start future pacing. And that means something simple. You know this guy for a while. You understand how he's showing up. You understand he's playing games. You understand he's saying one thing and doing something else. You understand perhaps that he has sex with you one day and fails to connect with you for the next five. And that feels horrible. Or you understand that he says, I'm going to meet you on Friday and then Friday comes and he doesn't call you and then he calls you on Saturday as if nothing happened, no, even I'm sorry, and then says, well, let's see each other tonight. And then he messages you late when you've already made plans or he maybe cancels last minute. So when things are happening that are not up to par, you need to future pace. Start thinking about if I don't change this dynamic, if I don't put a stop to this, if I don't seek more, if I don't end this type of connection, where will your life be a month from now, six months from now, a year from now, three years from now, and really feel it. Take that future pace. Imagine how your weekends will go. Imagine how your vacations and summers and winters will take place if you continue connecting with the same type of man. Imagine where your self-worth will be. Imagine what your physical beauty will be, how it will be impacted by you feeling always less than enough. What will your... How can this impact your career? How will this lower your worth for promotions because your mind is focused on something you can't have but you still take spin your wheels unnecessarily? If you feel the consequences of what you're doing to yourself, it might viscerally punch you strongly enough for you to stop and do something about it. So if that's the case, if that's you, if you do this future pacing exercise and you recognize, you know what? I'm selling myself short. I deserve better. And because I deserve better, I need to do something different, then here's two things you can do. The first one is, if this is early in the process, if you just started connecting with them, if this is not a guy that you've been connecting with for months, but you start noticing the trend, you start noticing that intensity that takes place, but then the disappearance or the aims, then I want you to stop initiating with them. Stop reaching out. Stop reminding him of your existence. And start investing proportionally. Meaning create more options, date more men, go out with your friends, do more things that don't depend on him and only invest in him in the proportion that he invests in you. And what I mean by that is if he hasn't connected with you for a week and reaches out and wants to do something five minutes from now and he didn't take the time to plan, you might want to set yourself a worthy standard of, you know what, I want a little bit more heads up so that we can really plan something interesting and not just do something last minute. Uh, or maybe if he wants to kiss you after not connect, I mean, uh, he's not your boyfriend and wants to go further physically with you, that you say, you know what, I really feel connected and I feel attracted, but I, I'm not there yet. I need to experience more emotional connection before I allow my body to go the distance. That's something you can start doing right now. Second, if, you, if this is late, 
you know, if this is a guy that you've been connecting with for a while, then you need to take a step back. You need to stop treating him as your boyfriend when he's not your boyfriend. You need to ask for what you want. And by asking for what you want, it's something so simple as having a direct conversation with him where you say, hey, here's what I'm going for in life. Here's the type of connections I'm creating. And here's the reason why you and I are connecting right now. In my mind, I'm seeking to see who will be my life partner. That's what I'm going for right now in life. I'm not sure if it will be you or somebody else, but right now, that's why I'm doing this. It seems like you are playing for something else. Can you please clarify what you want? Now, he can either clarify that he wants the same thing that you want, which means you might continue exploring, or he might tell you right away that he's not ready for that and say that you're maybe being too uptight and that you should loosen yourself or that he doesn't want labels or that he doesn't want to force anything or that he, I mean, if that's the case and you're not asking him to be your boyfriend, you're simply asking him to step up in a way where he might one day be your boyfriend. Now, so taking a step back and clarifying what he wants and asking for what you want without making him have to do it. You're not saying, if you don't do this, my life sucks. You're saying, you can do it this way. You can date me this way. You can treat me this way. You can pursue me this way if you want to find out how far we can go. And if you don't want to do it that way, I'm cool, I'm out. The other thing you can do, which is if you already understand, you've already had conversations with him, you already know he's playing games, you already know he doesn't want the type of relationship you want, but you think you might convince him, you might turn his heart, you might be the woman who shows him the way, then end your contact with him. Stop it. If you want to stop drinking, the best way to stop drinking is to stop drinking. Replace that with something else. Replace the excitement that you used to feel with him with other things in your life, with other connections, with more men, with people who really want the type of relationship you want. Hope this is helpful, useful, and insightful if it is, and you want to take this further. First link in the description of this video will allow you to hit my free masterclass. If you enjoyed this video, click like or thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you want to uh, be notified of new episodes as they come out. And last but not least, if you want my hand holding and help because you're understanding this but you still need more guidance, more accountability, and even more specific strategies to end something that's not working for you, second link will allow you to apply to see if we are a great match to work together. Thank you so much for connecting with me and as always I challenge you to live a full and a conscious life.